All right, let's talk about climate and climate protesters. They decided to jump into the Trevi Fountain in Rome. Now, Caroline, apart from, yeah, we can see you, who is this supposed to convince? Is this supposed to say, don't throw your coins in the account, instead throw them towards Extinction Rebellion? Who does this convince? I don't even know if they know themselves, Paul. Like, this... Uh, I, I think these sorts of actions, the stunts by climate protesters only put off any normal thinking person. It's completely counterproductive. And what's worse is that they actually have to now throw out 300,000 litres of water from this fountain that re... What, because these people the were having a bath? Well, they put ink throughout the whole, like, charcoal... We can see that now, bastards. ..black water, and now they have to throw out... 300,000 litres of water. Tell me how environmentally friendly that is. I yeah, mean, these people do not think. Yes, correct. All right. Now, what about this here too? Oxford University. Oxford Union has had a debate club that's gone for the best part of 200 <laughs> years. However, what's happening? Well, there's campaigns against people who have been invited to speak, including somebody who has the controversial view that a woman is a woman and you can't fiddle with what is a woman and what is a man. Now, Steve, we've talked about this before, about how sort of snowflakey the world is now where they aren't willing to have the debates that make them feel uncomfortable. But what does it say when an institution that has had all sorts of people from all types of political backgrounds now is essentially teetering on the edge because some people don't like one person and the one person is hardly a neo -nazi. Nazi. It's sad is what it is and I think it's a real alarm bell for Australia. I mean you look at the way that the UK has become so politically correct over the last probably 25 years and we seem to follow along pretty quickly behind and so you, we are going to see this shutdown of, of genuine, proper, intelligent, smart debate in Australia as well. It'll come here, I have no doubt, because uh, the people here who protest in this way just copy what happens in the, in the UK and in the US and places like Canada. It's a very sad day, I, mean, I reckon. It, it has come here. There, there are female academics like Holly Lawford Smith, yeah, what's who are now suing Melbourne Uni, yeah. Melbourne Uni because she says she doesn't have a safe workplace because people protest her right to talk about biological realities. Well, and Nicholas, remember, my offer is always there. Let's go and do a live Paul Murray live. We'll do it in, in a lecture theatre at Melbourne <laughs> University and let's see all those protesters not appear because... Intellectual debate is more than welcome at that fine university of which you are one of its excellent proponents and, of course, employees. Thank you, guys. Do appreciate it.